There's certain jobs, if you look at it, you say this is not really supposed to be done by a human. We were wasting a lot of time on monotonous tasks. A guy going up in a cage, cycle counting the stock with an RF scanner. We have to check skew, badge, and expiry date, and then count. You scan one, you scan another one, and you move on. You scan one, you scan another one, and you move on. You scan one, you scan another one. Sometimes we find mixed batch in one bin location. So you must first have to separate it and then count. You scan one, you scan another one, and you move on. You scan one, you scan another one, and you move on. It takes uh, maybe three minutes to count one pilot. And then that data going into the warehouse management system, someone looking at the data and the exceptions. We just wanted to cut out as much waste as what we could. DSV has a, a global innovation team which looks at new trends, new technologies. You would have seen uh, music concerts like Metallica, Celine Dion, like the Olympics, the drones are flying. And then they said, but this is a concept that we can use inside a warehouse and started working with this company. I am Mariano Perna. I am a technical project manager for Verity. We are a company that specializes in drones. What really makes it um, unique and interesting, it's um, autonomous drones. It's not the first time that drones have been used in warehouses, but you always needed a operator to fly the drone. Definitely these are the drones we're looking for. Yes, first fully autonomous drone system in South Africa. Right now we are installing in DSV Plumbago, in this facility, our inventory system. It's an autonomous inventory control system that wants to guarantee to our customers, in this case DSV, that they will have a zero error warehouse. We embarked on a mission to get our stock accuracy as close to 100% as what we could. We also wanted to save time and create efficiency in the warehouse. It's going to really, really improve our productivity using the drones to count our stock also to have our stock accuracy through the charts. So it's going to give us better visibility of what we have in the warehouse and allow us to find what we need to find a lot easier. We just install the drones, they're on charge. We're getting ready for test flights tomorrow. We're starting at one in the morning uh, until about probably six in the morning to work around operations. It's revolutionary, as you say, it's very precise. The drones can find their position up to the centimeter. So we actually program the drones and 10 o'clock at night it will wake up and it will go and it will count your stock. We tell them where to go very precise to take the picture to find the barcodes of the pallets. And at 6 o'clock in the morning when you come back to work there's an exceptions report which says this is all the, the exceptions that we found. And they compare with the, with the warehouse management system. That's how they tell you, we found the match, so the pallet that you thought that you have here, it's in fact there. I saw this project uh, a while back, about two years ago, uh, on LinkedIn, and I reposted it uh, on my page. And I knew right there and then that I need to be part of this uh, amazing company. The first site is definitely more than years, probably going to two years now, that they've actually been running. In fact, they're now gonna you know, roll it out to other sites in the vicinity. Second site as well is more than a year. And then the third site literally went live six months ago, and now we're the fourth one. And uh, here I am two years later, I am part of the team that is actually implementing this amazing uh, technology. Just the area of the site is the, the biggest one that, that they had before. And then the second in them is because of the roof height. So we've got a 22 meter roof height. Something that kept our engineering team busy for the last five months is the challenge of having such a high ceiling. It's the highest facility yet. And they've never had to actually fly drones at that height. It actually delayed the project by uh, at least another three months where they had to do a number of additional tests to make sure that the drones could actually work with this height. 
Yeah, even me, I'm concerned about it because I don't know what's going to happen. I think maybe people are going to lose jobs about it. We are not taking away their jobs. We are just taking away a task. Oh, I'm very, very, very excited because these drones are going to make our life easier. Now you are not going to stand on scissors counting the one aisle the whole day. It's a number of safety issues around it, as you can imagine. Um, you don't want the drones to fly while people are working. You don't want, um, there can be blockages in the aisle of the reach truck standing and a drone can crash into it. So it still needs the human intervention. We train all our people to, to do that. We will probably do another two weeks of testing and then we will be in an operational mode. So we've anticipated this uh, for a very long time. We are driving continuous improvement within the business, driving sustainability within the business, and I think this is, it touches on both of these subjects. We do it safely, we do it with less CO2 emissions, we do it faster, we do it while no one is here, and we do it saving time and money. This is a great, great technology uh, for us because it's going to help us quite a bit with cycle counting. And there's so many other applications that we can use it for. So maybe security, there's also rack inspections. Um, so the innovation is definitely something to be excited about. So I think it's amazing that we are continually evolving and improving on our capability to reach a certain amount of KPI or SLA requirement as per our client's requirements. The client that we chose was, was an ideal use case for drones. It's really, really crucial that our inventory that's on our system, the inventory that's on the client system, matches perfectly. And that handshake between the two systems is absolutely crucial. And this is where the drones come in. So we chose this business case and this proof of concept because the customer that we are rolling this out for is it's got a very high expectation and we are setting the standard for the rest of the sites in South Africa.